Grab your copies of Pilates for Athletes and Power Yoga for Athletes below. Hey. But Sensei, I could beat this guy. I don't want him beat. No mercy. Oh, hey, my friends. Coach V, Vogue, but with an eye, your online yoga and Pilates instructor, who happens to be a guy. Oh, let's take some deep breaths here. By the way, welcome to my... Always inspiring, always relaxing, always suitable deck. Question before we begin this relaxing stretch relief, deep stretch routine. Comment below, who was funnier, Laurel or Hardy? I'll let you know my answer at the end of this routine. Also check in below with questions, requests for new workouts, and as always, let me know where you are in the world and how you're doing. All right, breathing deep in the nose, out the nose. Let's really relax it here. I think I'm still a little hepped up. Oh, there we go. Let's do that again. Little arms up. Oh, okay. I'll meet you in child's pose. Why did I put the cap on like this? Okay. It's a beautiful day in the Rockies, my friends. Let's press it back. Child's pose, deep breathing in the nose, out the nose. Let's really flush out the system. Flush out the mind, the body, get the circulation moving. Relax it down, let your armpits sink towards the ground. And the shoulders, your shoulder blades are moving away from each other. It's always a good rule of thumb to create space in your back. Let's take five deep breaths. What is a deep breath? Well, breathe in and expand the front, the sides, and your lower back. Hold it for a titch or a shtickle, <laughs> and then exhale slowly. Think of wringing out your lungs like a wet washcloth. If you don't have a wet washcloth handy in your mind, use a wet towel. Nostrils sound like a motorboat. <laughs> Little allergies. All right, one more deep breath. Let's breathe up and down the spine and the back. Okay. Bring it up just slightly. Let me switch the cap here because the sun is going to beat my face apart. Let's do child's pose with a side bend here. So take your outside arm, bring it out. There we are. And then this one can either be here or if you want to be a little more Dirk the Daring from Dragon's Lair, take the hand back here. If you know what I just mentioned there, Dirk the Daring, if you know that reference, God bless you. <laughs> One of the toughest games ever by Don Bluth. Good, and keep tilting this shoulder. See this right here? Tilt it back with each exhale. So we're, we're lengthening the body, which is fantastic. And we're also twisting into it, loosening up the sides and the back. Let's do five more breaths. Good, the leverage is on this hand here. That's the hinge the fulcrum from my physical science days with Mr. Bockenfeld. Mr. Bockenfeld. Mm, I do an impression of him, but if you didn't have him for a teacher, it wouldn't make any sense. But rest assured, I'm doing the impression in my head as I breathe deeply. Fill the front, the sides, and the back. That breath lifts all boats. It's the rising tide that lifts all boats. Getting a nice shoulder stretch too. You feel that in this arm? Not this one, but this one. One more breath. Mm. Okay, let's go to the other side. But first, bring it up. Shoulders back. So we're not living in the inversion. We don't want to live there. We want to keep the back bends coming as well. With Coach Vig, with myself, that's the same person. 
I like to even them out. Back bends and inversions. Inversion is where the head goes lower than the heart. All right, right arm forward or the other one. This hand here, or start twisting into that stretch or bring it to the outside. Oh, yes. It's all yours, my friend. Take five deep breaths. Remember, washcloth, towel, maybe an old damp rag. I don't know. That's what we used to use on the oil wells. Damp rags. That's a whole other story. Do two more breaths. Let's keep slowing it down. You still there? Okay, there's the sun. <laughs> it's easy to get lost in the breath, in the pose, and that's good. But as the person who's guiding this stretch, I want to make sure I'm still present at all times. Mm. All right, slowly unwind your way out of it. Oh. Seated position, take the legs in front, let them shake out a little bit. We don't want them to get cramped. Even a child's pose is a beautiful pose, but if uh, you spend too much time in it, you get some block circulation there. It's all in the timing, all in the duration. Next one on our beautiful list is a full body stretch into a seated hug, oh my. So bring it down, lengthen forward, stretch it out. Shoulders back, fingers forward. So we don't have everything going this way. Keep the shoulders back and then reach. You'll get a nice expansion and stretch in your shoulders and back. If you like, you can take the fingertips down and lift up a little bit here. I call this the long cobra. Long cobra. Keep sinking the armpits down so we don't have this. If you continually do this in your workouts and your stretches and poses, you will continually do this everywhere else too. Shoulders all cramped up, cutting off the breath. Drop them down. Three more breaths. Legs are extended back. I'm not quite as sore as I thought I would be. Last night, I kind of reverted back to my high school days I had this urge to do 300 push-ups, like around 9 p.m. I think I did about 220, but did about 10 to 20 at a time. I put on some mystery science theater and I just hung out in the living room and did them. Uh, in high school, I used to train between midnight and 2 a.m. over the summer to get big, of course, <laughs> with dumbbells and barbells. All right, probably watched mystery science theater back then too. Take a quick child's pose here. It'll sway side to side. It is imperative, oh, the sun, come on, what happened? It's imperative that you keep the spine nice and limber, nice and loose. Keep the connections open. Keep the discs hydrated and mobile. Okay, now that hug I was talking about. Give me a hug, give yourself a hug here. We gotta come to a seated position. Get into hugging position, bring the feet in. Now, if you're social, social distancing from yourself, don't do the hug. All right, wrap the arms around the legs. Drop the shoulders. I remember when, if you had a big shirt on, you'd pull the shirt over your legs. Give a thumbs up below if you remember that. You may not have to remember it. It's not like it was during a certain decade. People are probably doing it right now. Okay. Bring those feet closer if you can. Drop the shoulders. There's always a, a protocol to follow in any pose, even a hug. Keep those shoulders down. Let the chest be open. Back of the neck is long. Or you can tuck the chin right down here. Feel the stretch permeating down your back. Let's do five more breaths. <laughs> this pose, for some reason, now reminds me of a junior high party. Uh, I think if somebody was upset, they would probably go in the corner and, and do this. <laughs> I can't tell you how my brain works. When I stretch and exercise, memories unlock. They come out. And uh, 
if I'm filming, well, it's the Sean Vig Fitness uh, channel. I uh, have to share them. <laughs> Roll the head back and forth. Breathe into your lower back as well. Very nice. Relax the jaw. It's something that might surprise you that I say that. Relax your jaw, relax your throat. That's what she said. But the jaw tightness, it travels into the face, it goes down the neck, into the shoulders, into the back. All tension starts somewhere usually, and it's a chain reaction. So once it gets too far gone, you can't really pinpoint it. Then it's a problem. You don't want it to spread through the body, the tension. You want to keep it pinpointed in one spot and just alleviate that. Okay. <sighs> Seated pigeon. We did this a few videos back. Got a good response. Well, I, a few people mentioned it. Take this right ankle on that left thigh. First option. You're gonna press forward right here, or you could bend this knee and press forward here, a little dropping side to side. Some gentle glute and back mobility. I, I, it always slightly bothers me when the clouds come in. I, I do like having the sun out because it illuminates the trees so nicely. Bob Ross trees, the happy trees behind me. Okay. If you want more, bring that foot closer and press into it. This is a seated pigeon. You could also, if you wanted to argue, you could call this a seated figure four stretch. If you ever get into those big figure four stretch arguments at a party. Back and forth. We're getting some movement here. You feel it in the low back, also in the spine. Oh, I think the Daner's up. Because the house is on fire. <laughs> Back and forth. Mm, I'm going to do an impromptu stretch here. You can stay here or go into the fire log. Fire log is more advanced, so only do it if you're feeling much looser. You drop this leg down. Anytime I do fire log, it always gets some kind of feedback, good and bad, or just feedback. Hands can also come down. Here we go. Rocking back and forth. Keep the rocking going. Feel, again, feel that permeating into the back, into the glutes. Oh, that's stuck there. I don't know what that is. Only through the deep stretch would I have discovered that weird spot. Two more breaths, my friends. You can extend even further forward. Your upper body is pressing this knee down. There's the fulcrum. There's the pivot point. Rise up, Whew. shake out the legs, shake it out. Do, 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 do. I must break you. Okay. Left ankle, right thigh. We're here, we're here. Feel it out. Don't just follow me. This is a golden opportunity all the time to listen to your body, get acquainted with it, shake hands with your body, or fist bump, or elbow bump. Hands down, press forward. I'm going to go right towards this one. I'm going to walk the foot in a little closer. There we are. And then adjust the hands accordingly. Woo! So there's Addy fur all over me. So how was the stretch, Bob? It was good until that instructor guy, Coach Vogue, whatever the hell his name is, fell right off the deck trying to get fur off his leg. It was fascinating. You just don't see that very often. Back and forth. Feel that? stretch when you drop to the side you're getting a nice stretch in your glutes and then this side getting some hip action some mobility in the low back and then of course if you want more let me stretch this out for a second there we go you can drop it down into the infamous the infamous fire log fire log it sounds like a tracker from the running man Back and forth, whichever position you're in. Don't be afraid to add little movements to it to unlock. Unlock perhaps what's been hiding behind the vault door. That tension just waiting to be released. Mm. 
One more breath. Oh, I hope these stretches are helping you, my friend. I hope they help me a lot. Shake it out. Okay, I wrote down a lot more, <sighs> but we could always add extra videos here. Okay, I want to do a butterfly, a little butterfly series here. So bottoms of the feet together, a lot of great hip work here, lower back work, shoulders back, hands here. You could use the elbows to press the knees down. Yeah, Andy wasn't fooling around with the fur there. A little back and forth, keeping the height in the body. Laurel and Hardy, I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. A lot of you probably were thinking, who? Laurel and Hardy was, or was, is one of the top comic duo teams in the world. Of course, the brunt of their work was in the 30s and 40s. A lot of shorts and movies. I grew up watching them. I still watch them. I have their whole collection. And uh, part of these videos, too, I like to draw out people that have similar interests that I do. It's always fun to have those discussions below. I, I'm of the mind that cinema and music and even poetry and literature all tie in with movement. They all tie in with the movement, whether it's body weight, strength training, weight training, power lifting, anything. There's a natural flow to everything that unlocks, unlocks the breath, the mood, the focus, and yes, the laughter. So Laurel and Hardy, I've watched most of their shorts. I think the best short is Busy Bodies, and the best movie is Flying Deuces, but don't quote me on that. Okay, now you could stay here or do an elevated butterfly. Take the hands around the outsides of the feet. You're going to lift the feet off the mat, so that's going to bring the core, your lower back, hips, and glutes and abs, is that what it is? Yes, into play. Draw the feet in, drop the shoulders. So we're giving that stretch. You're gonna engage the arms, also work your balance, and the core strength there. The zone shined off here. Draußen here. Shoot, wie sagt man Deck auf Deutsch? I don't know. Weiß ich nicht. Drop the shoulders. Good, we're elevated. Find that focal point. You're breathing in the nose, out the nose. The breath has so many miraculous wonders. A big one is the more you focus on it, it's going to open up the airways. If you feel stuffy, breathe. Focus on deep breathing. Get those lungs activated. Now, if you want even more, here's the final add-on. You're going to wrap the arms around or underneath and then pull the feet in. Oh, ho, ho. You can drop those shoulders. You can bring this is closer than you ever want to be to your big toes. Hmm. Good. Shoulders are down, lengthening the spine, even as the legs in this position are pulling you down. You're lifting. No one ever said stretching was, quote, easy, but stretching is just. It is right. It is a struggle, but the immediate and long-lasting benefits are both dramatic. Let's do three more breaths. A deep breathing up the sides your sides expand always like a oh what are those called they used to shoot for fireplaces boom 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 like little lungs oh never mind i'll think of it later all right Ugh. Let's finish off right here. Straddle stretch. Bend the knees accordingly. Legs go out. When you're ready, just take it back. We're going to go back and forth like a little metronome here. A little clock. Bellows. That's it. <laughs> I was not letting this video go without knowing what those are called. Bellows. You ever watch those in action? Expand and constrict just like the lungs. Side to side. A lot of birds out, that's great. Things are getting a little greener here. 
I know our weather might be very dra or very drastically, drastically different than your weather with all this snow and ice. And this instructor out here wearing no sleeves, but it is warm in the sun, rest assured. All right, arms up. And cactus arms. We open, pull the elbows back. You get a lot of pushback from your hamstrings on this. Now take the hands behind you, open up. If you want, you can also press up into a little straddle plank reverse plank opening the chest and bring it down let's do one last stretch here bring it forward straddle stretch either hands here or forearms down or all the way let's do seven breaths each exhale is gonna take you forward each inhale is gonna lift you a little bit mistake of having the cap forward. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Close the legs, shake them out, switch the cap. Party on. Okay, there it is, my friends. What'd you think? Ah, you feel good? You feel better? Coach V, Vogue but with an I, your official online yoga and Pilates instructor guy, coming from my deck. Check in below, leave your feedback, questions, and uh, who's funny or Laurel or Hardy. Uh, my answer to that is it's rather a tri trick question. They are equally as funny in their own way. They are a team. If you separate one from the other, it has nearly the same comedic effect. So they work beautifully together. Laurel from England, Oliver from Georgia, boom, comedic magic. So don't deprive yourself from experiencing Laurel and Hardy. Stan Laurel, Oliver Hardy. I've studied them quite a bit. Won't get into that here because that's not in the title of this workout. But uh, God bless you. Be safe out there. And... Enjoy the deck. It's a good time. Yes. Hey, it's Coach Vig again. You remember me? Uh, let me tell you something. If you enjoyed this video, I have a free gift just for you. It's one of my most popular members only videos from the brand new Sean Vig Fitness app. Now, all you have to do is click the link below, either in the About section or the pinned comment. It'll take you to another page. You put in your email, and boom, that video will be sent to you right away. Ooh. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscribe button, smashing the like button, and check in below with any feedback, questions, or if you have any specific workout requests for me, put those in the comment section below. That is the best place to reach me.